Hey everybody, it's Tom Dalton from the award-winning PBS television program Under the Radar Michigan, where every week we explore the cool people, places, and things that make Michigan a great place to be. And uh, where are we going to be next? Take a look. I had heard of Zingerman's Deli, and I had even heard of the guy who started it, Ari Weinzweig. But until I actually met Ari, I had no idea what a true food guru he was. Not only is Ari a pioneer in what he calls real food, his love of Ann Arbor and the passion for what he is doing is the real reason for his great success. Ari has created a food philosophy that's become almost a way of life for a lot of people. For people who've never been to Zingerman's before, how would you describe what Zingerman's is? Well, usually I make other people describe it because I hate describing it because it's hard to really convey. It's good food, that's what it is. Uh, just for context, when Paul and I opened the deli in 82, uh, it was just this space we're standing in right now. So the wall was uh, just up there where the bread is. So it was just five tables in here, me and Paul and two employees. Uh, so that said, you know, we now have this whole community of businesses here in Ann Arbor. So. Uh, the deli's, you know, about a quarter of what we do, but we've got the roadhouse, that's uh, sitting down, regional American food, mm -hmm. uh, the bakehouse, so we're, you know, making traditional pastries, traditional breads, uh, the creamery, which I mentioned, the cream cheese, but we do gelato and all that, the candy bars, uh, coffee roasting, uh, mail order, we ship all over, and then Zing Train, we have a little training business, and people come from all over the world to do our training seminars on business and leadership and stuff, so today we got about 500 employees we started with two. At least Ari's doing his part to keep unemployment low in Michigan. You know, all our food is traditional food and we go for full flavor. And uh, when you go for traditional stuff, uh, generally, although I'm like looking at Hungarian bacon and guanciales where you might get into some difficult pronunciations, but only because it's another language. How do you say let's eat in Hungarian? So this is the oil section, right? This is all oils and vinegars. vinegars. And over here we got spices and all sorts of other great stuff. I had no idea that there were this many oils and vinegars. As well as breads, meats, cheeses, you get the idea. You have the nicest people here. Well, That's one of the reasons I love coming well, here, because you're treated like family when you come in. And be, Hopefully in a, not a dysfunctional. Well no, no, well, no, not like my family, but like anyway. <laughs> exactly, that's what I was thinking. Okay. But uh, The service at Zingerman's is outstanding. Look, I mean, people work hard to make a living, you know, right. and, and the, 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 the quality level of food when you're working a traditional level like this, handmade with great ingredients, is not going to be cheap. No. Right, but it's worth the price for two reasons. One, oh. if it's Michigan, Michigan made, it's totally worth the price. One, number two, is if it's better, it's just better food. Yeah, no, no, it's I, real food. Yeah. Real food for real people. Uh, somebody as talented as you are could go anywhere in the world, anywhere in the United States. What keeps you in Michigan? I love Ann Arbor. I mean, I, you know, it's, it's, we got a great town, and, and Paul and I will both tell you the same thing. I mean, we spent 29 years creating a place where we love going to work. Now that I've been here, tasted the foods, and met the people, I totally get it. Like I said, if you've never been to Zingerman's before, once you go here, you'll never not go here again.